what I also want to do is handle the else block. So if we don't have any hotels length, what we want to do then is space, colon, and then another parentheses in here. So this is the case if there are no hotels in our database. So I'm just going to render out a H2, just saying there are no hotels, please add one. So now all I need to do is create the new component. So this one is going to be named information.tsx so the reason we're using tsx is because we're going to have jsx inside our component so this is where we render html if we use ts then we aren't using any html elements in the file so rfce in our information like so and this time we are going to be receiving props so the props we are receiving is this hotel here. So an individual hotel. So in here, I'm going to pass in and destructure my hotel. And then I'm going to create an interface for this. So I'm going to name this I props, which is going to be defined just above. So interface of I props, and that is going to contain a hotel and the hotel this time. So if we go into our hotel TS, Again, we are going to have the new hotel type this time, and we will need to import that as well. And this time we're not going to add the array because it is an object we are passing in. So I'm just going to remove that and space that out and just console log the hotel that we are receiving in here. And now if I remove the console log from hotels here, and now save. I also need to import the information component and then save all once again and close this down and refresh. So as you can see here, we are getting the individual document that we have passed in. So all we need to do, we have an error here saying we need to render a key prop. So whenever we render a list or map through something, we need a key. So in my card component here in information, I'm just going to give the key equal to hotel.id. So now if I save, we now on getting that error. So now in my information component, we are receiving the correct information. So I now want to render this out onto the page. So first off, I'm going to delete this and in my return block, I'm going to give a div with the class name of hotel-preview. And inside here, we are going to render out the card. So I'm just going to copy a few things across. So the first thing is the image container and paste that in here. So the in the image container, we have an image and the alt text will be hotel. We have some highlights. So if I just save, you can see here the image is being rendered and it is. And if I close this off, you can see here it is responsive so that the price per night is on the right but if we get to a smaller screen size it goes underneath so what we are rendering for each hotel is the hotel location that is the image source of this image here we are also rendering the hotel title which is in a h2 we are rendering a p tag of the region so hotel.region in here and then also the hotel price which is 56 pounds per night so that is the top half of the div complete, which is the image container. So underneath, I'm going to render a description. So this is the second portion over here, which has the stars, the reviews, the main feature, and then the view info information button. So in my description, I'm going to give this a class name of description. So div and then dot description tab. And inside here, I'm going to have a span and a HR first of all. So if I just copy that and paste it in. So we have a class name of reviews, which is rendering the hotel.stores. So if I save, so we have three stores based on 997 reviews. So hotel.review is equal to reviews. So just double check that is correct, which it is. And then underneath the HR, what do we have here? It is a main feature and a view more information button. So if I go underneath the HR and bring in the span for main features. So we have the main feature of hotel.feature in here. And I've added the optional in here. Again, it's optional chaining to see if that is there, then only show it. If it isn't there, then don't show it. And it wouldn't error out in at that point. 
and just finally i want to add in the button as well so if i copy that and then paste that in and save that is the button being rendered out here and i also want to make this button clickable at the minute it's not clicking to anything so as we have done previously we with the routing we just need to import the link tag from react router dom so link and we want to link to and this is going to be dynamic this time so we want to have curly braces and then with javascript we have es6 syntax we have access to backticks which is template strings and this time it's going to be forward slash hotels forward slash the id so in this case it's going to be curly braces again with the dollar sign and then hotel dot id so we will have access to the id here and then we want to close this off and then put in here the button so now that brings us on to the next page which is the hotel id so if i go into here i should now go through to the slash hotels forward slash this id here of rwa so if i click here we now have access to the id ending in rwa which brings us on to the details page